All right, guys, Anthony here, Subaru Service. Rick's truck here, 05, crew cab dually, 279,000 miles. Uh, I guess we got extreme surging going on with it. Uh, extreme, I guess the ICP sensor's already been done, IPR valve's been done, pigtails, uh, whatever. A bunch of stuff has been done. So, yeah, just uh, extreme unstable idle is what we're looking at right now so let's uh start a diag here see what we see hang on all right well i mean unless this is an 04 in or an 03 engine that has a 03 strategy which it's not this is an 05 chassis we have got the wrong icp sensor that's an 03 one that one looks for for uh lower it looks for lower volts that one is like a 0.19 volt key on engine off. And the one that th this truck is actually looking for 0 0.25, 0 0.24 volts. So that is the wrong, the wrong ICP sensor. We got a map pressure correlation, which who knows if we had too much boost coming out of the uh, map tube, if there was some testing going on, I don't know. Cylinder four, here you go. Cylinder four and cylinder five contribution balance. And fickin' performance. Oh, shit. Okay. 0069, pressure correlation. Cylinder four, cylinder five. Here we go. Cylinder. Come on. Damn it. Cylinder four, cylinder five, and fickin' performance. So, I got those documented. We're gonna clear them out. Everything else is just, well, let's see. Yeah, everything else is just crap. So, let's just clear them all out. Hang on. Okay, that's it. All we got is the ignition key in and transfer case. Crap, junk codes. So hang on, let's get some screen set up. Let's see what numbers we got. All right, just because of the 0611, let's watch the Ficken real quick. I'll cycle the key off, turn it back on. Ficken main power, watch this number right here. Anything under 45. Oh, there you go, Ficken performance, it's done. Needs power supply at least. Oh yeah real bad so all right so it needs a power supply dropping down that freaking low icp 0.27 volts see we've got it all screwed up uh that's we got wiring issues i don't we might have to double check the wiring on it because 0.27 actually doesn't make any sense that's i mean it, it's it just doesn't make any sense that it's the wiring is screwed up or the sensor screwed up. I mean, we know we got the wrong sensor, so we need to uh, get that one rectified and get the late model 05 to 07 sensor in it. Or 04, 04 to 07, whatever you want to say. Bring these ICP volts down to about 0 0.24, 0 0.25. Uh, 0 0.27 is, is that's, that's it's yeah, it's going to be a freaking nightmare. It's going to be a mess. So the number, because this number is all screwed up, our actual ICP number is... It doesn't matter. It's it's null and void. It doesn't even matter because all this number is is the PCM interpreting this number. That's all it is. So, you know, the fact that this one's high, it, it just it, it's completely out of whack. Watch the IPR. Let's see. Jesus, we got all kinds of issues. Holy crap, hang on. Let's go unplug this thing. Oh my god. Alright, at least I unplugged it. I don't want to get in that faulty, that crazy reading. So, I mean, we got to fix that ICP wiring issue first before we do anything. Uh, we can't even count on the injectors. I mean, four and five are showing right now, real low. But honestly, I mean, we just, the fact that we've got a Ficker performance code, that says right there that we just bought ourselves another cold start. Because, I mean, we got to fix the, the, I really don't even need to do much Diag right now. Uh, we need to get the ICP volts back in check, get them where they need to be, 
get the the Ficken power supply up get it back up where it needs to be put it outside let it sit another night and do another cold start that's basically what we got to do it's not doing too bad right now I mean it's not absolutely smooth but yeah I mean that ICP sensor was just it's, it's the wrong one so it's not too bad right now I mean I'm moving it Julie said it was jumping from her the pedal was jumping and it wouldn't sit I'm in gear right now I'm in gear it's it's not jumping away from the pedal you can see here it's almost I mean uh, mo most of our issues is that ICP we get that uh, the wiring to the ICP figured out and get the right sensor in it get those volts back where they need to be put a power supply in it then we'll put it outside and we'll decide what uh, what we're gonna do for injectors because we did have two contribution balance codes so we want to make sure number four and number five are both plugged in and uh, while we take it apart when we get down to the uh, ICP wiring all that we want to make sure they're plugged in and uh, and then you know get the power supply icp volts blah 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 then we'll do another diag video right here a cold start diag and we'll see what happens because for right now our hands are pretty much tied you know i wouldn't change injectors based on what we see when we got 30 volts on the fickham i wouldn't do it so quick video quick check heck yeah i mean hopefully getting the icp volts figured out will uh not be a big ordeal <laughs> you know hopefully we're not looking at further down the wire loom main engine harness issues i hope not so with that said we're gonna let it go all right guys that's it have a good day